Hey everybody, welcome back to the Anchorage, and guess what time it is? You want me to say it? Uh, okay. Um, it's gonna make a big boom, so I'm gonna get out of the radius of the boom. This quest. Hey everybody, welcome on back to the Anchorage for another wonderful episode of this quest and this is going to be a good one and you want to make sure you watch it all the way to the end because there's all kinds of good information in here and I'm going to ask you to do something at the very end which is uh, fun and uh, and I, I hope to see all kinds of comments, all kinds of kudos, all kinds of love, all kinds of hey you're awesome like that's going to happen but even still but just to let everybody know this edition is brought to us by ICAD and yeah so we've got ICAN here hi ICAN ICAD anyways so we've got that going on I can't hear well, what who said that uh, who is that? I've got a can lid here. I don't know what it goes to. We shall see, I guess. I can't do. Oh, wait, oh. Oh, excuse me. Why don't you have anything on? You're like freaking naked. Don't put your face on. Ugh. I can't hear. Okay, so we are going to be having a uh, a new guest. Um, I guess it's going to be someone else soon, or I don't know. So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, you can you can come on, just not on this uh, this episode. We will bring you in soon enough okay all righty again I can't hear. all righty um anyways so we are going to have fun with that oh sorry by the way take your top because you're like topless now so ugh. anyways anyways getting back to our special presentation I don't know this is this quest, and this is a video series regarding different services from the online service provider uh, that we know as Disroot. And uh, so we are going to be looking at the service of uploading today. And uh, we are going to go ahead and we are going to be looking at that. So if we go on over, we have, of course, the website right here. If we go to the services tab and bring it on down to upload right here it on there and of course I don't see anything but that's just because of this browser I'm using Vivaldi so my apologies we scroll scroll on down and we get Luffy this is the program that they actually host on their on their servers and stuff like that uh, it's encrypted temporary file service for for uploading now this is for sharing files that with other people or business or anything like that. So Disroot's upload service is a file host is file so, <laughs> a file hosting software. It's, it's file hosting software. It's an instance of file hosting software powered by Luffy. Some people may say Luffy, but it's Luffy. Uh, especially if you're in you know if, if you're in those Scandinavian countries, the U. You, it the be smell, it sounded like a U, and, and there we go, <laughs> don't you know? 
<laughs> it temporarily stores files so you can share them with others using a link. To protect the privacy, all of the files are encrypted in the browser itself. It means that your files never leave your computer unencrypted. So, the administrators will not be able to see the content of your file, nor will your network admin or your ISP in particular, basically your internet service provider, uh, like Comcast, Charter, you know, stuff like that. Administrators can only see the file name, its size, and its MIME type, basically what kind of file it is, video text, etc., so on and so forth. So this is basically what we're gonna be looking at today. So if you scroll down, it'll briefly describe about how it works. So if we scroll back up here, we've got, you know, with the link for Tor, and uh, which I'm not gonna use because I'm not using the Tor browser. But if we go on that, if you hover over that, typically down in the lower corner on Firefox, you'll see the address of it, of that site's page, uh, which is an onion address. But we're just gonna go straight to upload files here. And I just clicked on it and here we go. Upload this route wants to show notifications. Yeah, we'll allow it, why not? And that, that actually uh, saves a cookie. Basically, it's a preference cookie. So if you have a notification that comes in, uh, you will receive a notification on your desktop somewhere in the corner or in the browser. So basically here is the file uploader. So basically it's very, very simple to use. Uh, right up in this section here is basically, you can't see the little pop-up, but you've got, if you, this is a drop down, um, and you get three selections. You've got, the default is 30 days, but you can also pick 24 hours or seven days. So. If I pick seven, there we go. If I pick 24 hours, there's that one. Uh, you can also set it with this little check mark to delete at the first download. In other words, if you've got a single person that you want to share a file with and you want it to disappear after they download it, you check that off. If you want to create a zip archive with all the files before uploading, you check, check this off. And there we go. And with that, you get this little extra thing here. In the name of the document, zip file, you can basically identify what you want it to be. I to be fun. There we go. So, you know, just a little fun little thing. And then you can also have the file password protected. So you can actually click on that and you can pick your file. So I'll just go like that, you know. Just for example. And then you have this box down here that says drop files here. In other words, you can drag and drop them or you can click this button here to open up your file browser or your file explorer or your file manager, you know, where you can navigate and load files from. And uh, you click on that and it's got right here, it's got the maximum file size, which is two gigabytes. In other words, you can't have files larger than two gigs um, because you don't want to clog the server up with a whole bunch of data. Now, as far as how much is actually used on Disroot's end, I have no idea. This is just a precaution on their side to be like, hey, we don't want it abused or anything like that. So however many files that you have, it can, the, the total cannot uh, be more than two gigs. It's just for like space allocation and control. So there we go. So I don't know if you'll see this when I pop it open, but I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna pick some random file. I'm actually going to create one in a minute here, but basically you come in here. Uh, let's see if I can find something miscellaneous. Uh, let's uh, let's actually go out to videos. Uh, let's see. I'll go to what I'm working on right now, and I'm gonna pick this guy. And so there we are. It's selected, and you can see right down here that the file is uploading. And this is the name of the file that I selected right in here, this whole thing. And it happens to be 23 and a half megs large. 
So we're going to let that kind of go to the end. Now, when this is finished and uploaded, we're going to get uh, some data that shows up down here. And here we are. These are all of your options. Uploaded files all through here. You can copy all links to the clipboard. It just goes into memory. And you get a little notification up here that says the links have been, link or links have been copied to your clipboard. And you can also select send all links by email. If you fire, if you kick that off, then your um, your email client will fire off a new email box right up on the screen, and you'll be able, and it'll have uh, a lot of information pre-filled, and uh, you can just put in who it's to and kick it off. So here we have the file right there, and now it expires on Sunday, September 10th, 2023, at 2:01 p.m. So that happens to be tomorrow, so at 24 hours from now, as it says up here. And then down in the bottom, you have a download link, which happens to be this right here. And then you have a deletion link, which happens to be right here. So if you wanted to create a, let's say a manual email, or you wanted to send an instant message to somebody, or something like that, you know, and and have what they need to to download it. You've got that link right there. You can just copy that, and um, you know, because you know it's it's very long, and it's very confusing. How would you like to actually have to go in and copy down each individual character? Boom, boom, boom. Capital Y, capital Q, pound, capital C, little X, little L, one, little. Yeah, that's just a mess. So there we go. And there we are. So then the uh, person that receives this will be able to go to this link, which will come to this route into Luffy and download that actual file. And uh, if you haven't marked it for deletion at first download, uh, it'll stay there for the amount of time that's identified here or a week or a month. If you had set up a password, then you have to enter the password. And uh, there we go. And uh, that's essentially how it's done. And we can see here, I've got Firefox up. And uh, if we were to take that download link and I was to paste it here, like that, and I hit enter. Boom, here we go. Luffy Disroot File Uploader. We can see it downloading right here with the status bar. Asking for part this of however many there if it happens to be. It tells you how big it is, what the file name is. And of course, we can see, oh, what do you know, there I am. And we could play it right here or whatnot. You know, it's loading, that's where it is. I can say, get the file. Click on that, and it downloads it via the Firefox downloader, since I'm using Firefox. If we want to watch to see what's going on. And there we go. If you happen to hear that, um, yeah, that was me intro intro introducing uh, the next edition of Dinner Quest. So isn't that fantastic? So let's say I wanted to delete this I could then copy the deletion link and I'm just gonna throw it into another tab here close that one out and I'm gonna paste it and go and there it is file deleted it tells me right there and there we are all right, and there we go. And that is how to use Luffy, the distro downloader. I got... Anyways. Anyhow. So, that's basically it for this edition of this quest. So, we uh, will be coming back in the future. I can't tell. Yeah, you're... Ugh. Go get dressed. Ugh.
worse than Pikachu, I swear. I could. Yeah. I know. I know, I know. We are going to be having a... We're going to be having a guest at some point. Yeah. I could. Anyhow. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> Why don't you come on back? Give it a like. Subscribe. Donate some crypto. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified of additional videos in the future. And, um... I have to modify the positioning of this microphone so that it's not right here, but kind of poking straight up in front of me. Um, I'm going to be moving the armature here. This part right here. If I can get it in frame there. This part. Uh, this this portion. Eh. I'm going to be getting... Uh, right now, it's set back about nine or so inches back from the front of the desk. I'm going to be sliding it forward so that I can get this thing a little closer and vertical um because i've got uh some stuff that i've done over in that corner which i will cover in uh an episode of odin quest and um it's big news for me kinda for you guys no <laughs> but anyway why don't you come on back and we will uh see what's up in the next episode of this quest so thank you very much skull Throw on a couple of uh, pineapples in the comments down below. Show me you got this far. Take it easy. Bye.